Hi everyone. In this video, I'll go through a case that I presented recently during a case study review meeting with colleagues, including both optometrists and ophthalmologists. Part of my work week is spent in the ophthalmology department at County's Manukau District Health Board, where I work in the glaucoma clinic with a consultant ophthalmologist. This is a patient I saw. Here we have patient PC. She is a 30 year old female of Asian descent under the care of the hospital for juvenile glaucoma. Her ocular history includes a left TRAB surgery in 2009. During this visit, she had VAs of 6.6 in the right eye and 6.15 in the left eye. We have a target pressure of 20 millimeters of mercury and we currently meet this with 16 in the right and 14 in the left. To reach this target pressure, our patient is currently on both Lumigan at night and Azop twice a day in both eyes. Here's her right OCT of the disc, and you can see it's relatively stable and normal. And here's her left OCT, which is a lot thinner, although stable. We also have her visual fields. This is of the left eye, and you can see it's stable, but there's moderate to advanced glaucomatous defects, and we have a mean deviation of minus 7.89 decibels. So based on these findings, you can see our patient has moderate to advanced glaucoma in the left eye, although it is stable and meeting our target pressures. Normally, it will continue to current treatment given it's working. But our patient is only 30 and is considering getting pregnant. So it was decided that we stop the Lumigan and Azopt and we start a weaker prostaglandin analogue that is high sight to lower the theoretical risk of miscarriages. Additionally, she was booked in for SLT. And here is a copy of the patient letter. There will be a difference of opinions for continuing with a prostaglandin analog, even though the patient was wanting to start a family. Given the concentration of the eye drops is only very low, a very small amount will enter the systemic circulation. Prostaglandins are also already in the body and is also used to induce labour. Therefore, it's believed the risk of causing miscarriages is theoretical. But on the other hand, there are ophthalmologists who thought the risk was still too high. Beta blockers and alpha agonists are safe to use during pregnancy and alpha agonists is safe to use until delivery. These could have been alternatives. Thanks for watching.